Jane Boleyn Book of Days, signed by her. Hi guys, gloriously sunny day today. I'm down in the Weald of Kent, and a place I haven't been to for about eight years. I'll put you to Hever Castle. Just queuing up to get in, social distancing, so it's a timed ticket uh, entry. Inside Hever Castle. Hope it's very low lights. Hope the uh, you can see the picture okay. Offaly Hever Castle, seat of the Bolin family, and Anne Boleyn's childhood home, where Henry VIII would come and court her in the early years. Henry VIII, the guy who invented a religion. So everyone's coming in on time to tickets, which works really well. Everyone's quite patient, just waiting. It's fine. It's either at Hampton Court or at the other week because um, obviously it's a bigger place, whereas Hever's a much smaller uh, castle. The drawing room. This room contained domestic offices in the Tudor period and became the drawing room in 1905. William Waldorf Astor, of course, the famous Astor family. But he's still got some of the original wall here. Isn't it lovely. This is the dining hall. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, in the 15th century, this was the great hall. Now, dining hall, a magnificent fireplace. Okay. Okay. Now, the Astor rooms. This is the library. These were administrative offices during the Tudor period. It's in such a modern word, administrative, I pronounce it. But yeah. The morning room. I very tiring. I'm to climb this old staircase up to Anne Boleyn's bedroom. Thomas Boleyn inherited the castle in 1505. Anne Boleyn, the Book of Days, signed by her. The guides are telling me the craftsmanship though on these books is incredible. It's incredible. Uh, we're going that way, I think. Yes. More mannequins. <laughs> it's believed Henry VIII stayed here when he was uh, courting the famous Long Gallery. Remember, he used to have props and costumes on display. It's supposed to be an active area, you know, didn't use the word haunted. It'd be an active area. Of course it would be. Some of these portraits date back to the 1500s. 1500s. Isn't that amazing? Got to admit I'm getting a very heavy head in here. Interesting. Lovely walls and beams. These are the Astor apartments. It's, uh, people live in. Yeah. Fancy having a room here in Hever Castle. Yeah, these rooms were created in 1968 for the uh, Gavin Astor's daughters. Yeah, we're in here. I wonder what the Wi-Fi is like. Yeah, that's right. So it said on the sign. Um, and 
house, a bowling family that's totally associated with Hever Castle, with the Astor family, was just as significant, really. They did a lot of work on the, uh, on the property. We've got the lovely grounds as well, which we'll have a look at in a minute. A bit of a slow walk around the building, because everyone's only allowed so many in a room at a time. Everyone's fine, everyone's having a good time, it's really good. It's really nice these places are open. Oak chest, 1685. I mean, some of these places are gonna replenish their costs pretty quickly, but it's so busy here today. So busy. A quick look around the uh, gardens. I'm not a particularly garden person, but this is really nicely laid out. Lovely day like this. Looks great. I mean, it's absolutely heaving here. Absolutely heaving. I thought it would be. It's a popular international destination, tourist destination. But obviously, we don't have a lot of tourists. We have English tourists, but not from abroad at the moment. We'll be back to normal next year. Uh, just walk up to the lake. Boating lake's great, you can take boats out and uh, go for a paddle, and that kind of thing. Just outside Heaver Castle, King Henry VIII pub, which we've ate in many times, absolutely lovely. I just want to take you into uh, St Peter's Church next to Heaver Castle. We are Heaver Church. The church was built about 750 years ago to replace a former early Norman church. Been a place of prayer for at least 850 years. And uh, in the church is the tomb of Sir Thomas Bullen which was Anne Boleyn's father and grandfather of Elizabeth I. I doubted this church would be open. I came here a day out in about 2009, 2010. Um, I'll just cut that footage in now. Okay, we're now going into um, St. Peter's at Hever. Aren't we girls and ladies and gentlemen? Yes. Yes, this is Hever Church. Hever Church, which was, um, was built about 750 years ago. Henry VIII sent Anne Boleyn back to Hever Castle when the sweating sickness broke out in London, because obviously the further away you were from it, the less chance there was of catching it. Well, she caught it anyway, and he didn't. So he had to wait every day for news of her as to whether or not she was dead without actually being able to go near it because he was at risk from the sweating sickness. Oh. But she survived it. I think I'd just quickly bring you here. As we were at Hever Castle, I just wanted to quickly uh, bring here and uh, show you the church. So I hope you've liked this little trip to Hever Castle in Kent, all open. So any of these kind of properties, you need to do time ticketing, which works fine, works fine. And if you like the video, please like, subscribe, please leave a comment if you've been here. And we'll see you next time. Take care.